Hi all, so I just finished watching the newest episode of The Walking Dead. Um, the Walking Dead has always been a great show uh, for me to watch because I love shows about humanity. And if there's a show that really highlights what it means to be humane and our struggle to be humane as human beings, then it is definitely The Walking Dead. Now, this particular episode of The Walking Dead uh, is the first new episode of the second half of the third season. Um, in that, we start out with something pretty basic. It starts right where we left off with Merle and Daryl in a basic fighting match to the death, uh, where they're almost instantaneously rescued by Rick and the gang. Um, upon being rescued, they decide the best thing for them to do would be to basically decide to stop um, being a part of the group and having uh, Daryl basically go with Merle on their adventures. Um, it's a really big departure for what uh, we'd expect from Daryl. We'd expect him to stay loyal to the group, but instead he decides to stay loyal to his brother. Meanwhile, the governor's in depressed mode. Dude seriously needs some Zoloft. Not only has he lost his daughter, but he's also lost his eye. And he's lost his faith uh, in, in people. And Andrea, throughout the episode, is slowly trying to to restore his faith <coughs> in people uh, to no avail. Um, Rick uh, finds out about Tyrese and their group, and that's problematic for him because he doesn't believe that these new people are worthy of being a part of the group. Uh, I think I've now come to the decision that Rick just needs to die. Um, he he is mental, and he is not a very good leader anymore. I think that um, the veterinarian guy whose name escapes me right now does a better job of leading the group and making smart decisions than Rick does. I know that part of it's due uh, to the fact that Rick is experiencing paranoia, and the veterinarian guy is a voice of reason, but it's stupid. You go in rooting for Rick because he got shot and then ended up in the zombie apocalypse, then found his wife and son, and now lost his best friend, his wife, and now only has his son left. But that's the thing. If I were in a zombie apocalypse and I had lost my wife and my house and everything I held dear, at least I'd be happy to have a son. Not only that, but I would be happy to have a daughter, a brand new daughter named Judith, who is cute as a button. I, I swear, I'm not really one to have kids one day, but adorable baby. Um, and Beth uh, does such a wonderful job at taking care of little Judith. And you really see those little tiny humane moments. That's what makes this episode for me. There are all sorts of small humane moments where you have different characters who are supporting characters who you can care about. Carol's reaction to the fact that Daryl was gone and that was his brother was that of heartbreak. And you really felt for her upon realizing that Daryl may not be coming back. Is it right for Michonne to get kicked out of the group because of, you know, basically abandoning the group and going on her own quest? I think so. Mostly because she doesn't communicate.
the Suicide King was a great episode and a great start to the second half of the season of Walking Dead. I know that Glenn Mazzara is no longer going to be showrunner of The Walking Dead, but from what I've seen so far, he's done a damn fine job running the show, and I hope the next guy has luck that is just as good. Um, let me know in the comments below what you thought of the episode, and before I go, I want to say that my zombie kill of the week is Glenn smashing the shit out of a zombie that comes out of a car with his foot. Just, just a nice sneaker smash. He just decapitates the whole head just by breaking it apart. And it's the most beautiful zombie kill I've seen in quite some time. Like I said, let me know what you think about the show in the comments below, and I will see you next time. Alright, bye.